Tunde na physical chemistry jana tulishia concept ya dynamic equilibrium and if you remember yesterday we say kama tuna a ku plus b e in a reversible reaction kwenda kutengeneza c tukasema a and b they are called reactants then tukasema c is the product Tukasema kwa the definition of dynamic equilibrium we must consider two things and if you were with me yesterday we said that the first thing we need to consider is the rate of forward reaction is equal to the rate of backward reaction the second thing we need to consider is concentration of reactant and the product remain constant or remain the same or sometimes they th they use the term that does not change with time so when we are defining the dynamic equilibrium we must consider these two things is an equilibrium in which forward and backward reaction proceed at the same rate that the first th thing and concentration of reactant and the product remain constant with time remain constant with the time or sometimes remain the, the same with time or do not change with the time so remain the same does not mean they are equal they are equal no ukisema they are equal mwalimu atakupa kosa kwa sababu gani concentration nikwambia jana kwamba kama ikiwa a plus b kwenda ku form c huyo akawa ni 4 4 huyo 0 initially initially and then after reaction after reaction huyo akawa 2 huyo 2.5 huyo 3 kama equilibrium imekuwa reached hapa concentration ya huyu na huyu na huyu zitabakia hivyo hivyo with time lakini hizi unaona hazifanani kwa kusema they are equal una cause kwa sababu gani sometimes concentration they don't match but they remain the same so today let's let's proceed where we ended yesterday a uh, equilibrium we say the state of balance between two process uh, two processes or forces acting in opposite directions or acting in opposite way so the term chemical equilibrium if you are asked now define chemical equilibrium this is the definition this is the def chemical equilibrium can be defined as the state of reversible reaction chemical equilibrium the nini the state if we not say the state you will get a clause why because equilibrium ni state ni hali reaction na fikia equilibrium ile ni hali ndio maana tuna uwezo ku change tutaenda kuona mwishoni wa hii topic kwenye mambo ya lichatili as principle kwa hiyo tunasema kwamba chemical equilibrium can be defined as the state of reversible reaction when two opposing reaction occur at the same rate and the concentration of product and the reactant do not change with time kwa definition ya chemical equilibrium na dynamic equilibrium ni kama zinakaribiana au ni kama zinafanyaje zinafanana sema tu kwenye dynamic equilibrium tunaanza is an equilibrium or the type of equilibrium while kwenye definition ya chemical equilibrium tunaanza is the state kwa kwenye dynamic equilibrium unaanza is an equilibrium kwa sababu ni type ya chemical equilibrium lakini chemical equilibrium yenyewe kwamba define chemical equilibrium to define a the state so if you not say the state the state of reversible reaction you are lost kwa hiyo ndio hivyo A good example of a reversible reaction which can be regarded as a chemical equilibrium is the synthesis of ammonia from its element that is called the Haber process. So in the Haber process we have nitrogen plus hydrogen to form ammonia. So if you balance this reaction you will get here 3 and here you get 2. All of these they are gases. So this is gas, this is gas and this is gas. So in the Haber process all three species This is called one species one species and the third species this one these two species they are called reactants and ammonia is product 
So in the harbor process, all three species, they are in the same state. Guess, guess, guess. And in this state, we are calling them as homogeneous, homogeneous equilibrium. So homo means the same. So this is called homogeneous equilibrium because all of the three reacting materials, they have the same state. So if all substances or species are in the same phase, in the same physical state, the equilibrium is referred to as homogeneous equilibrium. And if all substances or species in equilibrium system are of different phase of physical state, the equilibrium is referred to heterogeneous equilibrium. So homogeneous equilibrium, all species they are in the same phase, while heterogeneous equilibrium species they are in different phase. So for example, an equilibrium here, uh, the breakdown of calcium, calcium carbonate, when it is heated to give calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. Uh, as you can see, this is the gas, this is solid, and this is solid. So two of the species, they are solid, and one of the species, the gas, that is called heterogeneous, because they are not similar. Homo. Homo means the same. So, hapa kuna maerezo machache. Yisigani ikulibia muwanafikio. Tuasema hivi, as the reaction proceeds, the concentration of reactant decreases as they are used up. The rate of reaction will therefore decrease as well. Tutaenda kusoma mbele kwenye topiki ya chemical kinetics. Tuache kusema ni kwamba rate of chemical reaction is that proportional to the concentration of reactants. Sasa, rate ya reaction ni that proportional to the concentration of reactant. Kwa hiyo kwa kadri reactant, concentration of reactant, reactant, inavu kwena decrease, manake nini kitatokea, rate of chemical reaction, chemical reaction, pia itafanyeje, ita decrease. Kwa tunacho kisema pa nini? Iangalia iglaf sasa, na ichola pa, na uzo kanelewa. Iglaf na ichola hivi. Alafu, kisha ichola hivi. Na ichola hivi. Sasa, Hii ni kama rate ya reaction. No, isi ya rate ini seme reaction pathway. Pathway, yani jinsigani reaction na vendelea, huku ni seme ni rate. Sasa, tuanze, abda tuna reactant Z to A plus B equilibrium kwenda kuform C. Anyway, we may put C plus D. Vyo vyo te sasa. Tuanze labda tuseme A plus B ndo zirizo kwa pumanzoni. So initially, we had maybe 4 of A and 4 of B. And then here we had 0 and 0. Kwa hiyo, zina vanza kuliakti zi A na B. Manaki A na B zina kwa zina zidi kupungua. Na nime kombia hivi, late of chemical reaction is that proposed to the constitutive reactant. Kwa hili actanti zinafu zidi kupungua, manake rate ya forward reaction. Hawa kuenda kufomu hawa, inapungua. Na kumbuka hawa na ongezeka. Kwa kadri hawa na vizidi kuongezeka, uwezekano wa hawa kuungana kuje kufomu tena hawa na ongezeka. Kwa sabugani, manake ini backward reaction ya hawa ndo wana acti kama reactanti. Kwenye forward reaction ya hawa ni reactanti ya hawa ni product. Kwenye backward reaction ya hawa ni reactanti ya hawa kuna kuwa product. Kwa utaka chukuja ukiona, awa A na B wanafu kuwa na react. Kina chufanyika ni kwamba rate of chemical reaction of forward reaction. Inakuwa na pungua pole pole. Inakuwa na pungua. Wakati hui na pungua, huku zina kozi na ungezeka. Kozi kia ungezeka hizi hapa, rate ya baki wa reaction ya kurudi. Inakuwa na ungezeka na yo pole pole. Inakuwa na ungezeka na yo pole pole. Kwa nini kina fanyika pumanake hui na hui wanafu kuwa na tumika kuna utengeneze hui. A rate ya forward reaction ya kuenda hivi. Indo forward reaction. Forward reaction. Rate ya forward reaction inazidi kufanyaje? 
inazidi kupungua wakati sasa wakati huo rate ya forward reaction inazidi kupungua maana hawa wanazidi kuongezeka kwa rate ya backward direction inazidi kuongezeka rate ya backward direction inakuwa inazidi kuongezeka kwa hiyo hichi ndicho ambacho kinaelezewa hapa hii rate ya forward direction inakuwa inazidi kupungua hii rate ya backward direction inakuwa inazidi kufanyaje kuongezeka kwa hiyo baadaye itafika state ambayo hizi rate zitakuwa zimebalance kama hivi kwa hii graph maana yake nini hii hapa ni kama rate of forward reaction afu hapa ni kama rate of backward reaction backward reaction kwa hiyo hapa hii ni a hii ni ni, ni product zina breakdown kwenda ku form react d plus c zinaenda ku form a plus b lakini reaction hii huko ni a plus b zinaenda ku form c plus d kwa hiyo mwanzo ni ilikuwa inafanyika complete reaction na baadaye sasa zilivyoanza kuongezeka hizi zikaanza ku break na kutengeneza wale kwa hii rate ilivyozidi kuongezeka na hiyo huko inazidi kupungua baadaye zikafika kwenye state of equilibrium a plus b equilibrium c plus e, d kwa hiyo hapa rate ya forward rate ya forward ni sawa sawa na rate of backward kwa hiyo kama ambavyo unaweza kuona hapo hapa ndo tunakuwa tumeshafikia state yetu nini ya equilibrium ambayo rate ya forward reaction inakuwa sawa na rate ya backward reaction kwa hayo yote maelezo yanaelezea ka graph hayo maelezo ambayo nitasoma so as the reaction proceed the concentration of reactant decreases as they are used there the rate of reaction will therefore decrease as well simultaneously the concentration of products increases so it becomes more likely that they will collide with one another to reform the initial reactant manake ni backward reaction eventually the decreasing rate of forward reaction becomes equal to the increasing rate of backward and in net change cases at this point the system is said to be in equilibrium forward and reverse reaction occur at equal rate ah uh, hicho kitu ndo ambacho nakiona kinakuwa demonstrated kwenye graph kama hiyo hapo you may consider this graph a plus b kwenda form c kwa hapa inakuwa ni a plus b kwenda form c forward reaction hapa ni c kwenda form a plus b backward reaction lakini hapa hii ni final equilibrium a plus b inakuwa hii ni equilibrium with c kwa hiyo hiyo ni just graphical presentation na kutoka hapo sasa kwenye 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 equilibrium to discuss conditions conditions which favor the formation of chemical equilibrium kwa chemical equilibrium ili itokee lazima kuwe kuna condition na hizi condition ni wana zitoka kwenye mtani hivi condition ya kwanza the chemical system must be reversible lazima iwe reversible irreversible haiwezi kandago chemical equilibrium lakini pili the reaction should take place in a closed system that no matter is allowed to enter or leave the system kwa hiyo closed system ni ile system ambayo mata hairuhusiwi kuingia au kutoka japo energy inaruhusiwa yani inaweza kuhiti ukaikuu lakini mata hairuhusiwi kuingia au kutoka kuna closed na kuna isolated isolated maana yake unakuwa hauruhusu mata wala energy kuingia lakini tukisema closed inakuwa iruhusu mata energy inaruhusu kuingia tukisema open yenyewe inakuwa inaruhusu vyote kuingia energy pamoja na mata kwa hiyo kwenye next video tutaendelea tutaendelea kuhusu characteristics za chemical equilibrium kwenye hii video tuishia hapa so don't forget to share and to subscribe the channel tell your friends to to meet in this channel this is the platform where you can ask question join the telegram group below there you can discuss different aspects if you are fellow students and to increase your performance in chemistry and biology i hope you have understood the the lecture if you have not understood anything just comment below i am dr melo we shall be in the next period discussing about the characteristics of chemical
equilibrium. This is physical chemistry. Thank you, everybody. Have nice studies and good performance in your chemistry studies.